Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and welcome to this first look at the AGM-84D Harpoon Anti-Ship Cruise Missile. The Harpoon is an over-the-horizon missile that has about a 70 nautical mile range, has a 500 pound warhead, and cruises about 550 miles per hour. Let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and learn how to use a harpoon. So first, so zoom into our left EDI. Naturally, master arm arm, air to ground mode. Now here on the SMS, we see HPD, which stands for harpoon D. We'll select that. And now we have a timer, which will go down to zero, which is allowing the uh, gyros to align up. Uh, we see we have uh, two harpoons loaded on the outside stations, which we can step through if we wish. So mode, the harpoon, Harpoon has two different modes, a BOL, bearing only launch, in which the harpoon will fly out to a directed bearing to search for targets, uh, really no range information. And then there's a, uh, another version which relies on the C mode of the air surface radar to give range information, but we'll come back to that uh, a little bit later in early access. Uh, for now, we're just going to do BOL. Uh, next, we have flight which allows the harpoon to cruise at three different altitudes, uh, high at uh, 30,000 feet, medium at 15,000 feet, and low at 5,000 feet. So the harpoon will uh, cruise at those altitudes and search targets once it's told to search. And then once it detects it, it'll then go down to uh, sea skim level to attack it. Uh, then we have terminal. So when it's attacking, it can be directed to either be skim mode and attack along the waterline, or it can go to a pop-up mode, and at five miles from the target, it will pop up to about 500 feet and then attack it from the top. Uh, but at this point, we're just going to focus on skim. Uh, next, we have uh, HPTP, which stands for uh, Harpoon Turn Point, which allows the harpoon to fly out to a waypoint, and then from there, uh, fly to a directed bearing, which we'll talk about here in a minute. And we'll talk about a uh, fixed point here in a second. Now, next, we'll come down to UFC. And this is where we can start doing some programming of the harpoon. Uh, we have search, destruct, and bearing. Uh, so search tells us uh, how many miles uh, from being launched will the harpoon turn its seeker on to start looking for juicy targets to home in on. So in this case, let's just go uh, five miles. Uh, then we have uh, destruct or self-destruct is, you know, how many miles after being launched will it automatically destruct because you don't want that thing flying around and hit a cruise ship. So let's go set that to... 50. And then finally, we have bearing, which directs the harpoon what bearing to fly out to to search for a target. In this case, let's go 355 degrees. And as you can see, these are all this information is now set up in program one. And of course, you have multiple programs you can set up. So we have a mode as BOL, flight at medium, set that to low. Uh, terminal uh, maneuvers can be skimmed. It's going to start searching at five nautical miles after being launched. It'll self-destruct at 50 miles after being launched, and it'll be searching for targets at a bearing of 355 degrees. Next, we'll take a look at the HSI. And here, aircraft in the middle, we see a line out to 355 degrees, which is where our harpoon is going to be looking. And the small line here is uh, when it's going to start searching here at five miles. And then the uh, X here is 50 miles when it'll self-destruct. Now, if we were to select a fixed point, it would direct the harpoon to specifically look at a midpoint between the search uh, range and the struct range for those targets. And that's only available when you don't have a harpoon turn point selected. Now, as I mentioned, with a harpoon turn point, we can have it fly out to a waypoint first. So first we have to set a waypoint, of course. So we'll go waypoint. Waypoint one, and now coming back over, we'll select harpoon turn point. And how we do that, we see that the line first now goes out to our waypoint, and then at a bearing of 355 degrees, goes out and searches for targets. Again, we have our search line, and then the self-destruct X up here. Let me zoom this out a bit, as you can see a little more clearly here. And if the turn was a bit too acute, then you'd have an off-axis warning. Uh, on the HUD and also on the DDI. And it's pretty much as simple as that. So let's go ahead and unpause. So we see they're in zone. We can hit that target. We're in BOL mode and we're ready to go and harpoon away. 
So at this point now, it's going to fly down to 5,000 feet, which is our cruise altitude, and we'll level off there until it hits the Harpoon turn point. And let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit here. So now it's leveling off at its cruise altitude. And of course, the higher the cruise altitude, the greater the range and the more area it can search. Uh, but you know, the higher it is, the, uh, the greater the chances it can be shot down by uh, ship air defense weapons. And it is a uh, subsonic missile, so it's not exactly the um, uh, hardest target to detect and shoot down. So now we're waiting for its uh, turn point, which should be here in just a little bit. And there it's turning. And then shortly after, about five miles, it's going to start, it'll turn on its seeker and start looking for targets out there. And now it detected, and now it's diving down. And now it's going to go down to a, a sea skimming altitude to make it a much harder target to hit. and hit. So that's a little look at the, the basics of using the uh, Harpoon. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks.